It's hard to believe Thanksgiving is just eight days away. Here is a bonus for you. Instead of doing a seven day forecast tonight and tonight only, it's an eight day forecast. So you can actually see the Thanksgiving forecast in view. Currently outside, it's 56 degrees. Our high today made it to 74. Absolutely beautiful. Looking ahead to tomorrow, the morning could be clouds. Fog, they may linger a while. Originally, I was thinking we'd be a little warmer, but now I'm going to say about the same as today, 74. It could be a struggle for areas east of I-35 where the clouds may linger long enough to hold temperatures down closer to upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Currently outside, it's 50 in Taylor. It's 56 in Johnson City, 55 degrees in Harper. Winds are turning light. We have clear skies in place, at least for our area. But look at this. Near Huntsville and Houston, there is a bank of low cloud cover that is slowly but surely inching westward. I do expect that we could see some patchy, dense fog develop. Then our next cold front, which is all the way out in the Pacific Northwest, arrives on Friday. And this big area of low pressure off the West Coast will eventually spur another stronger cold front slated for Monday. All right, let's watch that fog in progress. By around 530 in the morning, we could have quarter mile visibility in some pockets. What about Austin? Well, the latest computer models are now suggesting there may be less than one mile visibility for a brief time, I-35 corridor as well. The longer the fog and visibility issues will linger, the harder it's going to be for us to warm up. I'm going to be optimistic and still go for that high temperature around 74 degrees. That's here in Austin. You'll see less fog and more sunshine out west in the Hill Country mid 70s and more fog and cloud cover lingering, keeping you in the 60s in places like Giddings for tomorrow. So here we go, watching those clouds for your Thursday, 50 degrees or so out the door, patchy cloud cover. And and some sunshine mixing in. Friday, we may also see a tad of patchy fog or clouds, but those quickly move out. Cold front moves in. We bump up to 80 degrees with the first of two cold fronts. That first cold front, by the way, is a weak one. Behind it, we only drop from 80 down to about 74. But the second cold front is the strong one. It gets here on Monday. I've knocked our rain chance down to only 20% for a stray shower. We may also see a spotty shower on Sunday. Behind Monday's front, Look at that. We go from 76 to only 59 degrees. And then there are those turkeys, those turkeys. Right now, Thanksgiving looks fine. 42 degrees in the morning, 67 in the afternoon.